Have you ever wondered how a bird can sit on a bare electrical wire and not be harmed? Here you see two birds on wires that is running through my neighborhood. The voltage on these wires are over 7,000 volts. For the bird to be harmed, the resistance of the wire between his legs would have to be high enough to force enough current up one leg through the bird and to his other leg. Even though the voltage is over 7,000 volts, the bird is not harmed because the wire's resistance is low enough that the electrical current flows straight on through the wire. In fact, the bird isn't even aware that it is in contact with enough electrical current to literally cook it. You may ask, is there a time when conditions can force electricity to travel up one leg and down another? The answer is yes. If a high voltage wire was to fall to the ground and various other factors such as soil conditions, ground cover, electricity traveling through the ground may very well travel up one leg through the body and through the other leg. This is because the resistance of the ground between your feet may be high enough to force a deadly amount of current through you. I will demonstrate in the next segment. If you ever see a high voltage wire falling to the ground, it's best to keep your distance. The electricity from that wire can be trying to pass through the ground. The circumstances that cause the ground resistance can be high. In that case, walking within several feet may cause you to be overcome by the electricity from the down high voltage wire. I'm going to demonstrate this by using a hot dog. The hot dog is going to represent the ground and the 110 volts is going to represent the high voltage. Here I'm going to insert a wire into each end of the hot dog. You're going to hear sizzling crackling noises once I plug this cord in. This is normal uh, sound of uh, moisture in the hot dog boiling and the meat being cooked. Now I'm going to plug the cord in. Let me turn the overhead light off. Now I'm going to insert a 2 volt LED into the hot dog to represent a man standing in the danger zone. The leads of the LED will represent the legs of a man. As you can see, the LED is flickering. This is because the hot dog's resistance between the LED's leads is high enough to force enough power through the LED to cause it to light. This is how a person can be killed, by walking near a down high voltage line. A person does not have to touch the wire to be killed. A person can be several feet away when he is overcome. The resistance in the ground between his legs could be high enough to cause electricity to try and bridge the high resistant patch of soil by going through the man. But with high voltage, the amount of current passing through a man can be lethal. Even if the person isn't killed by the current through his legs, he will very likely be killed once he collapses onto the ground. Once the person is laying flat, his body will become a longer bridge and would increase the likelihood of current flowing through his vital organs. Remember to keep a good distance from a down high voltage line. Also, do not expect your shoes to protect you. High voltage can compromise them. Thank you for watching my presentation on birds on a wire. Now stay tuned for a few links to some of my other videos.